Welcome back, you guys. We're going to go over seven NBA records LeBron James has broke over his 14-year NBA career. We did it with Westbrook, we kind of did it with Steph Curry, and now we're going to get into some LeBron records. Should I do it with another player, maybe Jordan, maybe Kobe, a different player? So let's go into record number one. The first record I'll get into that LeBron James broke was done in his first season back with the Cavs after his four-year stint with Miami. He passed up Scottie Pippen for most assists ever for a player who plays in the front court. So that means small forward position, the power forward position, and the center position. Pippen's record was at 6,135 assists, and the play LeBron broke it on was a behind-the-back pass to Kevin Love off a little pick and pop. The other players LeBron passed up when he was on his way to passing up Pippen were John Havlicek, Larry Bird, and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. He also posted to Instagram right after that game to say, For me, this goes right at the top with winning a championship because I've always loved seeing the success of my teammates. There's really not much I can say new about LeBron that you guys watching won't already know. For 14 years, he's been in the league, he's been an all-time great point forward, he takes pride in setting up his teammates. LeBron right now is at 7,400 assists and counting, and he's only going to create more distance with that stat as his career goes on. So let's get into record number two. LeBron has the record for most consecutive seasons to post at least 2,000 points, 500 rebounds, and 500 assists with seven in a row. He broke the record in 2013 with the Heat, which was previously held by Oscar Robinson back in the 1960s. He had it six seasons in a row, putting up 2,000 points, 500 boards, and 500 dimes. And here's the list of other players who have had seasons with those stats. This is from the website basketballreference.com. You got some big names like Larry Bird, Havacek, and Jordan, and you got some players from today, Westbrook and Harden, who have recently posted those stats. If you have to pick one stat or record to sum up LeBron's all-around basketball game, because there's a lot of them, and it's hard to pick just one, but I think this record is one of them you can pick out of a hat and say to a casual NBA fan who doesn't watch a lot of games, hey, this is why he's dominant at putting up points, grabbing rebounds, and dishing out assists. So record number three. LeBron broke the record for most consecutive seasons to average 25 points per game, 6 assists per game, and 6 rebounds per game. Again, another stat you can show to somebody who has only watched a handful of NBA games and say, look at his all-time great all-around game. This record used to be held by Oscar Robinson, just like the previous one. He had averaged 25 points, 6 rebounds, 6 assists, 9 seasons in a row with the Cincinnati Royals. LeBron, if you include this season, he has done it 13 times in a row, going back to the 2005 season when he was 21 years old. You see a trend here with the list of players who have completed seasons with 25 points, 6 assists, and 6 boards. With all these great players, Bird did it 4 times, Jordan did it 3 times, Harden and Westbrook have done it twice. So let's get into some NBA Finals records, some playoff records, we talked a lot about the regular season. So LeBron is first place all time for scoring average in elimination games with 32.8 points per game. You know, besides that first season with the Heat where he struggled in the beginning of the regular season, LeBron had a tough time closing in the final minutes of games and that finals performance where he got outscored by Jason Terry. Since then, LeBron has been that guy you can rely on in clutch situations to find the open player if defense has collapsed on him or making tough shots in the fourth quarter. So LeBron is first place all time for scoring average in elimination playoff games with 32.5 per game. And he's just ahead of Michael Jordan who averaged 31.3 points per game in elimination games. Wilt averaged 31.1 points per game in elimination games and Allen Iverson averaged just under 30 in those games. Some notable games where LeBron had big games in a game six or a game seven. Back in the 2008 Eastern Conference semis, LeBron and Pierce went bucket for bucket against each other. LeBron scored 45 in that game seven loss. In the 2012 Eastern Conference Finals, where LeBron literally turned into a demon and dropped 45 points and grabbed 15 rebounds against the Celtics. And one more quick notable game was Game 6 against the Warriors in the finals last year, where he dropped 41 points to get to a Game 7 in Golden State, and then he capped it off with the NBA championship. Now this is technically not a record he broke, because it's his own record he created and I had to include it. LeBron is the first player in NBA history to ever lead all players on both teams in points, rebounds, assists, steals, blocks for an entire playoff series, and he did it last year in the NBA Finals to end Cleveland's title drought. I used some regular season records to show LeBron's all-around dominance earlier in the video, but to do these numbers in a seven-game series in the biggest stage in the NBA against last season's Warriors, 
definitely has more merit behind it. So his numbers in last year's finals were almost 30 a game, about 11 rebounds per game, and almost 9 assists per game, and he capped it off with a 27-point triple-double in the Game 7. Do you guys think there's a player right now in the NBA who could pull off this stat besides LeBron? I think there's a handful of guys who could get really close. Westbrook definitely has a shot at doing this for an entire series with how he's dominated the box score all season long, but he's never averaged even a half a block per game over his career, like never. So he would have to get a lot of blocks. Harden is someone who could definitely get the points and assists, but then he would have to out-rebound centers at six foot five, plus he would have to get two blocks per game, and Harden has never averaged a block per game in any regular season of his career. I could see Durant getting the points, maybe the rebounds, but he would really have to ramp up his assists, and that's gonna be really hard to do when you have Curry and Draymond who are both amazing at passing. What do you guys think? I think the record is pretty safe for now. So the past two records that I talked about were playoff slash NBA Finals records. So let's get back into a LeBron regular season record. So LeBron is the first player in NBA history to average at least 25 points per game for 13 consecutive seasons. The record of 12 straight seasons of averaging 25 points per game was tied between Kobe, Karl Malone, and Michael Jordan. And going down the list, you can see we got a lot of all-time great NBA players here. We got Jerry West, Kareem, Iris and Shaq, Dominique Wilkins, who all averaged 25 points in a season for double-digit seasons. And again, all these stats are on basketballreference.com. Since his second season in the league, LeBron has been top five or top 10 in the league in scoring average points per game. He does it in so many ways, transition dunks, layups, getting to the free throw line, dunks in the half court, and if the shot clock is running down, he can pull a deep three point shot with the limitless range badge and save the possession. And as long as he stays healthy going into the next two or three seasons, cause LeBron's been pretty durable. I don't see why he can't make it 14 or 15 seasons in a row of averaging 25 points per game. And the seventh and final record for the video is another playoff record. He broke Michael Jordan's record for most playoff games with 25 points, five rebounds, and five assists, doing it 74 times. The other three guys in the top five are Bird, Kobe, and the Logo. Pretty good company. He broke it back with the Miami Heat, so the number 74 on this little graphic is outdated. So if you go to basketballreference.com, you can check out LeBron's Game Finder, do some searching, and see he has done it 97 times. So he's created some distance there, and again, that record is pretty safe. This one is another statistic that you can show to somebody who doesn't watch too much basketball. This will show how dominant LeBron's all-around game is. And one last thing before I get out of here, let's hear what LeBron's thoughts are on his NBA records. He claims he doesn't go out and go set a goal for an NBA record on a given night. Let me play the clip. No, I, I haven't really, I've never really set an individual stat on, on myself. Um, you know, I just go out and play the game and, uh, and see what happens. You know, some of the times while I've had big games, I, I, I didn't plan on it. Um, I just, just in the flow of things. And and that's all I got for NBA records LeBron James is broke. Was there a record you didn't know about that I used in the video? Or did you know about some of them? Like I said in the intro, I want to do this with maybe Michael Jordan and Kobe, maybe some other players. I got to find some records that a lot of people wouldn't know because I don't want to choose like easy records like, oh, Jordan has the most finals MVPs and stuff like that. So there was a couple other LeBron records I could have used, but some of them I know were probably known. And if you made it this far to the video, definitely show some love on that like button and I'll see you guys in my next video.